Fink Goodwin here, and eventually we will like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. The Netflix set cast for live action Resident Evil series. And uh, uh, just look at the cast, it's so perfect. I mean, you've got this guy playing Wesker, Albert Wesker, right here. I and just look at the blonde hair. Oh my god, the casting is so perfect. Look at that blonde hair. This is the best thing I've ever seen, which I've said for the millionth time and I may just cry on set on the set of everything ever just like Kevin Smith this is the best thing ever yeah if you're delusional shows post them take place in a different universe that old defense it's in a different universe yeah it's in a different universe that I didn't grow up in, in where Albert Wesker was originally black but guess what? I don't live in that fucking universe. Do you? And if you do, what the fuck are you doing here? Resident Evil. In name only. Here's your Albert Wesker. There's what Albert Wesker is supposed to look like. And people are going to be like, well, if you're so against it, then you're Istin Phobe. If you're against this dude here playing Albert Wesker, then you're Istin Phobe. Because if you have a problem with it, then the problem is you. It's no fault of Hollywood where they try to cash in on things in name only. So the whole argument that diversity matters, no, it fucking doesn't. Because the very argument in itself that, oh, they need representation, diversity and representation. Well, hiring people based on their race. You're telling me that isn't racism? Diversity matters isn't racism matters go on about representation, but the only representation that matters in situations like this Is accurately representing the character that this is based off. Oh, but race isn't tied to his character It's tied to his iconic image everything you should know about Albert Wesker uh, Among those things is that he's a white dude with blonde hair you want diversity, you want to spin your whole web about diversity and representation matters? Well, guess what? You can give us a diverse show with characters that accurately represent themselves that's not some kind of cheap Hollywood cash-in by giving us a Resident Evil Outbreak show. I mean, you have the confined scenarios that are pretty much episodes of a TV series. There's so many ways you could do this, be creative, and have a diverse cast with all these different interesting characters, not just diversity in skin color and gender, but personality. Give give these rich people a, a chance to sell you something that's in name only and call you istinphobe if you're not on board with it. Give these rich people a chance to act like they're saving the world by casting people of a certain race specifically just for the sake of representation in diversity and act like that's not racism anyway. By doing this is from Supernatural. Resident Evil is my favorite game of all time. I'm incredibly excited to tell a new chapter in this amazing story and bring the first ever Resident Evil series to Netflix members around the world, said Supernatural's Andrew Dabb, who will serve as showrunner, executive producer, writer for the live action series for every type of Resident Evil fan, including those joining us for the first time. The series will be complete with a lot of old friends that look nothing like their iconic counterparts from the games that this is based on. One of the real problems with shit like this is this right here. Though not without their fans, the live-action Resident Evil movies were well known for their departures from the source material and improper use of its characters as the franchise went on while the current end of this series is doing no different. While the current plot for this series establishes an original story rather than one from the games, it's nonetheless already has a lot of promise going for it from its incredibly diverse cast. The way they always spin that web. As long as we hire somebody that's this race or whatever, we can spin a positive on this and, and act like we're not guilty of nothing. That if anybody has a problem with this, they're guilty of something. It's not us. Because we've got 
diverse cast. Incredibly diverse cast. You offering a better spotlight for so evil you can't help but love him, Wesker. Uh, this is Wesker in name only, dude. The actor is pretty cool, pretty great, but this is Wesker in name only. This it looks so funny. I can't help but laugh. I know a lot of people are going to be down clicking, downvoting this video like, Oh, you Wesker phobe, you're not on board with Hollywood selling you shit and you just buying into it and eating it up because, hey, it's got a label slapped on it. For a brand that you like, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think of this casting. Let me know what you think of this Netflix Resident Evil show. That's pretty much Resident Evil name only. Because it's good to cash in on a brand while it's easy.